Hi everybody, Danger Rock here. Today we're going to be looking at the Toy Story 3 Snake Shooting Woody action figure made by Mattel in 2009. This figure came out to promote Toy Story 3 and it was part of the deluxe figure line. And what I think is really cool about this figure is he comes with an amazing accessory. And before we take a look at Woody himself, we're going to look at this um, accessory that he comes with. Now, this might look really familiar because it was in Toy Story 2, actually, when Woody meets the Roundup gang for the first time, and he sees all the famous Woody's Roundup merchandise because he was part of um, a famous um, TV show in the 1950s called Woody's Roundup. Now, this accessory he comes with is really cool because it's got really good detail. I'm sculpted into it right here. It looks straight out of the film. And this right here is actually a sticker. So it doesn't, um, it's not sculpted in this part where it says Woody, it's just a sticker. But the detail in it is spot on and I really like that it came with this. So what we do is um, we hold this thing right here so I could show you guys. There's a snake in my boot. Now, this thing can actually shoot pretty far. I really like the detail on it. And if we look inside right there, we push it in, it just clicks in place. And you could fire it right out. So that's awesome. That's the main reason why I bought this guy because of this awesome accessory he comes with. Now, getting into Woody himself, I absolutely love the detail they put into the vest right here. Really good. Um, one thing I want to point out with um, the most before we start is he has this right here on his arm. And that reminds me of in Toy Story 2 where Woody's arm ripped when Andy was playing with him. And then the cleaner fixed his arm and then the prospector used his ax and ripped his arm once again. But if we look at this, you know, it's just um, plastic right here. It has really good detail to give you the illusion that Woody's arm was ripped. So I really like that they included that on this figure. And if we take a look at his vest, I think the colors are really great and spot on from the movie. That his Sheriff Star actually says Sheriff, which is really film accurate. I really love the detail put into um, his belt and his holster and his pull string. Now, you can't pull it. He doesn't actually talk or anything, but it does move a little bit, and it actually does look lifelike to the movie. Um, what I do like about him, too, is on his head, even though they didn't paint it, they sculpted his hair in right here, and that's actually really cool. And... I actually really like the detail put into his boots. So what's really cool is you can actually see all of this sculpting right here, which is absolutely incredible. Like, here's the cactus symbol on his boot. It's right there. You look at the bottom of his feet. You get the Mattel logo and a serial number right here. And as far as articulation goes, um, Woody doesn't have much articulation, so his head can move and rotate a full 360. Um, the joints on this figure are very stiff. Um, he does have arm articulation, but his elbows don't bend and his wrists do not swivel. So they could only go up that far and down that far. His legs can move backward and forward. Um, which is really odd because his knees don't bend. So my only complaint about this figure um, is that you can only get him into this crouching position, which he could stand fine on his own without any balance issues. I just wish they would have added just a tiny bit more articulation. And what's really interesting is he does not come with a hat. Now, I couldn't imagine a Woody not coming with his hat so I think that that was really interesting that they decided to um, do this 
And this guy got released twice. He got released in the Toy Story 3 line of figures, which was a white card back packaging in 2010. But he was first released in 2009 where his package had um, the clouds, the blue clouds on the card. So he was released twice and he's actually really expensive nowadays. I, I've researched this guy on eBay and I see him going for about $90, which is insane. And it's a really great figure. I, I feel like that price point is because of this awesome accessory that he comes with. So he is a really um, unique figure to have. So what we're going to do now is for a comparison we have our 1995 Woody, which has lots more articulation in his arms. His arms can fully rotate and everything. Um, this one right here is called um, the Quick Draw Woody, and that's why his um, articulation in his left arm is limited because of his play feature. But this one actually lacks the detail that that one right there has, because if we look at both of them, side by side, you could see Woody on the left has the actual colors on his vest from the movie. Here, it's just a little bit too yellow. This one has the details on his belt and his holster. This one does not. This one has a better face sculpt. This one has more detail put into the boots. This one doesn't. But, however, this one right here does come with a hat and his hat is removable. So what we could try to do is try to fit that hat on this Woody. And honestly, it actually goes. I just feel like um, this hat isn't brown enough, um, in my opinion. And of course, it has a little bit of detail, but not much. So it's not great, but I feel like it does work well. Like if we put um, our Woody on display like that, that would look actually really cool. But, and if we move this around, his hat will not come off. But that's just um, my preference and my opinion. But um, this hat did come with this Woody right here. And this one to me is still a classic, even though it doesn't have the detail that some of the figures later on released by um, Mattel and Thinkway Toys do. So back to setting him aside. Um, but overall, I would still recommend getting this guy. He is a really old figure now, and I would get him because of the accessory he comes with. It just makes them all worthwhile. And... This is the only way to get this accessory right here. So for a display piece, whether you have like, for example, the Spotlight Series Woody, and you have um, a collection display with all your Toy Story stuff, you're actually gonna really want this guy because he comes with this. So I couldn't recommend this figure enough. This is one of um, my first Toy Story 3 figures that I've actually gotten. I actually ordered him from a website called Toy Wiz um, a couple years back, so I would definitely recommend him. So, yeah, um, this has been my review of the Toy Story 3 Snake Shooting Woody action figure. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be doing some more Toy Story reviews in the future, so... Um, guys, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts is on this figure and this awesome accessory that he, he comes with. Um, thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.